Hey, it's Snacks and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a short and sweet video. A lot of you guys have been asking how these EK leak testers work. And I recently just installed an active backplate and water block onto my GPU. As you guys can see. So this is the perfect time to test it out. So the EK Leak Tester version that I have is actually much older. They already have a newer version of this already out, and it pretty much works just the same. But first things first, let's go over the basics. Let's take a look at our Leak Tester right here, and look at this dial. So, can you guys see the colors, the different colors on the dial? We have white, green, and red. You guys see that? Well, ignore them. Disregard them completely. And here's why. If you're going to charge your leak tester based solely on whether or not you're staying on the green line or you're avoiding the red line, then that's wrong. Because depending on what component you're testing out, you're going to have to charge your leak tester differently. For example, for the GPU water block, you have to charge this all the way to one bar. And that's all the way over at the red line, but that's how you're supposed to charge the GPU water block. Or if you're going to be charging the entire loop of your, co of your computer, you're going to have to charge it to one-third of a bar. And that's, just all, that's only on the white line and it's not on the green, but that's how you're supposed to charge the entire loop of your computer. So just refer to the manual or better yet, I'm going to place it on the screen so that you guys can have it for reference. Okay, so with that said, let's test out the water block for some leaks. Get my water block and screw my leak tester in. Okay. There, it's attached now. Let's attach the pump. Okay, let's go on ahead and let's pump our leak tester. Yo! Oh my goodness, I think I have a leak because it's not going anywhere. Oh, shucks. <laughs> I forgot to plug the. I forgot to, um, to cover these two up. Let's do that. All right, there, take two. So again, we're gonna charge our GPU water block all the way to one bar. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, we're at one. Then we wait. Alexa, how much time left on the timer? All right, so it's been over an hour and there's no drop in pressure, so we're good. By the way, the manual says that the minimum time to use the leak tester is around 15 minutes. And I waited for an hour because I just had a lot of other stuff to do. But while we're at it, let's test out my other water block. Okay, I'm pumping it up to one bar and then we'll wait for another 15 minutes. There we go. So there you guys have it, it's charged up to one bar. And we'll leave it for another 15 minutes. All right, so it's been more than 15 minutes and there's no drop in pressure, so we are good to go. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.